Sequence Z, anything but with Kumari Silva as we do our first program for the new year. Otara, it's all about dogs. So to start off, why dogs and why not cats? Um, Random question. <laughs> no reason really. I mean, I love all animals. Uh, it was just dogs because I used to see the street dogs um, uh, on, the, on the street, obviously, and suffering um, with no one to take care of, it, of them and a lot of them sick and injured and... That's why I wanted to um, to help them, and you know it, it costs a lot, and it's a lot of work um, to do to do that as well, to do that. So I had to just focus on one thing, and um, that's why I co um, I started embark. You had dogs as pets as a child. Yes, I've always had um, dogs as pets from the time I was I was born, and now I have seven in my home, and I have another almost another fifteen in other other places. <laughs> have dogs beaten you? A um, couple of times, once or twice, yeah, but it doesn't, uh, you know, the, <laughs> but, but by accident, not, not intentionally. They have been, when I've gone to save them from a fight or something, you know, unknowingly I put my hands in the middle, you know, not otherwise. So Embark is a wonderful project, a wonderful idea. And um, are you happy with its growth or is there more space for it to grow? Um, of course, there's more space for it to grow and a lot more that, that can be done, but you know, the... The monthly cost is, is, is a lot and donations are very, very small and limited. And the product range that I have um, to try and raise um, funds from the profit doesn't quite cover even half of, of, of the cost of, um, of, um, of each month. Um, so that's the biggest challenge, really. I would love to help every single um, dog um, in, in Sri Lanka, but um, there is a ch um, challenge, of course, with that. <laughs> Has anybody asked you why you're helping animals and not human beings? Um, Has it ever been thrown at you? I guess some people um, say that on and off, but you know, each person does their own thing. I have given over 10, 15,000 people jobs in my lifetime. I have helped so many, um, you know, it's, 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 this is not a platform to talk about what I've done, but you know, it's... But please do, yeah. <laughs> you've done, you've done yeah, it, sure. I've built houses for people, I've done a lot of things in my lifetime and I have no... Um, you know, no, um, regret. I mean, I've, I, I don't think it's anything l less, but I know I can do um, do more and that's what I try to do. I think it's important, um, you know, to have, um, to, to be able to help both. Uh, for me, humanity is about helping both people and animals and the environment. Um, that's how we become human. I see immense cruelty towards animals uh, and it may be people who are doing good for people as well, but for me, that's that's not being human, really. I mean, we have to be conscious um, to the um, to the feelings of all sentient beings that live with us, because um, for me, that is what really uh, being um, human and being conscious and being living in you know society, in, uh, following a right path is is all about. Because um, you know the suffering I see sometimes caused by humans is and where they're not conscious about the pain and the suffering they create. Is, is it um, because those really, who don't care? A lot of it is unconsciousness, a lot of it is don't care, a lot of it is selfishness um, and a lot of it, um, yeah, is, um, I think somehow something has also changed in Sri Lanka. Because Sri Lanka is um, actually a very compassionate country from its roots, you know, with, with, especially with the influence of Buddhism. Um, and it's, it's really quite shocking to see some of the cruelty that, that, that goes on, you know, people will throw, just walk out of their house and throw hot water on a dog and the dog will be screaming in pain. And they just don't see what's wrong with that, you know, or, or they'll throw hot oil or they'll beat it with sticks. Um, they'll Does kill hot dogs. oil really happen? Oh, yeah. We've, we've rescued oh, several oh. dogs with hot oil, with hot water. Bula too. We only have a dog um, that we rescued last week who had been shot. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, and, and, and they don't, people don't see um, what, they, they don't see the connection of what they have done is, is um, harmful or, or hurtful or wrong. Uh, but on the other hand, there are a lot of kind and compassionate people as well. And it, it is definitely growing and there is a change in, in mindset happening. And, um, you know, that's a good thing. And uh, we certainly need more of that uh, because, um, you know, there are two sides of the, of the coin. Unfortunately, the, 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 the nasty side is uh, far too much at the moment. Okay. So, you know, together, if we raise the consciousness of people and society, that will change um, over time. Are you also unpopular because of your, you, because you champion the cause of dogs? You no. rescue them, you, you, you talk out loud, you expose issues? Um, 
Not really. I mean, I, also it's not dogs. You know, I, I speak for for all animals as much as I can. Your take on elephants and para harris. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. big bash parades. Um, I mean, you know, I take I I speak for for all animals, and uh, because as humans we don't realize sometimes the suffering we create because there are certain. A con, you know, conditioning that has happened in our lives, and it's happened to me as well. I worked in the zoo when I was a, when I was a child for for several years. I was a what volunteer. Um, no, I, I wasn't, but I, I was just a volunteer at the zoo. How old were the two? Uh, between fifteen to to eighteen. Okay. And I I loved it, and I thought I was doing such an amazing job okay. uh, helping the animals who who lived in these cement boxes their whole life. And you know, I never connected that how wrong that was. You know, sure. and I I suddenly. You know, fifteen, twenty years later, or ten years later, I suddenly realize, oh my gosh! Like, you know, like, how come I never realized that these, are, you know, these animals that are living in this cement box their whole life, most of them alone, and and we, I thought it was okay for that, you know. But it's a, uh, it's how we've been conditioned with many things over the years, a you know. Zoo so, is a sociological phenomenon, alas, or whatever. So, would you advocate open zoos like the one we had at Pindavala? Is, is, is uh, that the solution, or just let them go out into the wild? No, I'm quite yeah. honestly. I don't like both both our zoos, and I think really it needs to to change. And I don't like zoo concepts unless they are in sanctuary format. You know, where okay. people, where animals have a large space. There are some zoos like that, where they have um, very large spaces. They have they live at least. 70 80% to to the life they have in in, in their natural habitats and in the, the wild. circuses circus yeah, animals circuses are really need to end and it has ended almost all over the world it's ending very fast uh, people are getting more conscious to know um, how how wrong it is um, you know it's not up to us to to take animals out of their wild habitats and and beat them and train you know to train them to train wild animals of any form elephants sure, sure. bears leopards they have to undergo severe abuse um, to break their spirits, and um, you know, and that's why you also get them. Sometimes they attack people. Sometimes they run amok because they're they're wild animals that they're trying to break. The sea lion on on the on the coast at Velavat. Now, if not for military protection, it would have been killed and eaten. I thought so. It is protected. It's come to rest. That poor fellow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I think it has got lost somehow. Yeah, it has, be yeah right? it's because it's not. This is not his natural yes. uh, um, space, and they also live in. Most of them live in colonies. So somehow we don't know how. Somehow it has got removed from whatever colony or wherever he has lived and ended up here. It's. I mean, I don't know the reason how how it has come here, uh, but um, you know, I don't know. In the last week or so, I see that. There is no protection, and there are a lot of people yeah, around yeah. it, you know, and and trying to I feed for him. Life, I yeah, so I really hope that some way or somebody will come to the rescue. I don't have the the knowledge so much and the capability to um uh, to to find to find a way to rescue him. I would if I could, um, and um, but I I hope he will be able to find his way back to his maybe not it won't be his own colony, but but somewhere you know where he's. Um, more closer to his habitat of where he's originally from. Whom do you trust more, animals or human beings? <laughs> 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 you may skip if you want to. <laughs> no, you know I trust both. I mean, you know it's uh, you know animals are are very easy to um, to be with because it's very simple, right? Their mindset is very simple. They have no agendas. They have a simple life, really, and something that we should learn from. Because we complicate our lives a lot with so many attachments, so much craving, so much desire, so much greed, so much hate. Um, sometimes it causes us such pain and suffering. Sometimes, um, and they don't have that. They have a very simple way of living according to their, um, you know, to their um, character and their, um, you know, the, the species. And um, you know, sometimes a lot of things that we can we can learn from. But you know, I, I have no. I, I mean, I love both people and animals, and I think it's really important to do that because unless you, unless you have that um, love for for all beings, it's very difficult to to help as well. There's no point being somebody who's very hateful and and all and you know being very aggressive or very, very nasty, and then saying that you help animals because really on one side you're doing one thing, but on the other side you're totally disconnected from you know from the. 
become the reason you need to live and the reason you need to be human is to be kind and compassionate overall. Having said all that, what have you as a human being learned from dogs? <laughs> if at all, if you have. To be happy and joyous and, and live for the moment. And, um, you know, like even if in my home, if I go out 10 times a day, even my, do my dogs will greet me like they have never seen me in like one year. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Never changes, yes. right? But yes. with us, it's People all, don't do no, that. it's, you know, like, you oh, you're back again. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, it depends on our mood and yes. what, what yes. we have got attached, yes. you know, what has attached to ourselves at that time or what has bothered us at that time. Or, you know, you'll either be nasty to someone when they walk in or rude or, or you laugh and be happy, you know, it, um, that's how, how we are. So it's, it's quite a challenge and it's what I'm trying to do to, to be able to, um, yeah, to, to, to live more like them, to be grateful, Have to be happy. Have they made you a more joyous person? In the sense, the reaction you get from them when you go back home, it's very simple, as you said. Yeah. Has it made you a, a, a simpler, more joyous person? Yeah, I mean, certainly it does. You know, when, you, when, you, when I go home and I have seven very happy dogs exactly. jumping on me exactly. and, and being so grateful And you can't for, be moody because yeah. they're happy. <laughs> so even, even if sometimes, you know, something has affected me and I come back, you know, not so happy, um, I, it, my mood does change because here, here these happy dogs are who are, you know, so, so grateful and thankful to, that I've come back even for that one hour or half an hour. And um, yeah, this, they certainly can lift your mood and change your... So having a pet is also therapeutic? It is, and it has been proven um, to all be so as well. Homes, all oh, yeah, and even children. Companionship. And even for children, and you know, there, there is this sort of um, chemical that goes off in your, in your, I think in your brain or something. Okay. It's called ox oxytocin or something. You, you can Google it. It's, okay. it's there. And so that is caused by the love you get from, from your, from the dog or whatever, which makes you happy and loving from, from inside. There is a, yeah, there's a, a thing trigger. that comes out. Yes, yeah. yes. My daughter's dog. <laughs> uh, you know, something happens to me. Mm, mm. It kind of so, comes flows. Yeah, they've done research on that. It's, it's, you, you can read it online. It's, it's there about, about the things, the benefits of, of owning dogs. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I think it's important, you know, that we have um, a good connection with, with all sentient beings, even, the, even wildlife, even though you can't obviously have them in your home. But it, it's um, it, for me, that's what life is all about, really. <laughs> just behind my last question, just behind us was Christmas and the New Year, work Christmas and the New Year, and uh, crackers, firecrackers, yeah. even at all the time, uh, anything, uh, they get so traumatized, but yeah. it just goes on. Yeah, so again, a global, yeah, I mean, global change is happening as well in certain areas where they're having the no noise fireworks because now, again, it's something that we've not been conscious to over sure. the years. And now people realize the stress and the pain we cause animals. And it's not only dogs, like birds. Yes. And I mean, if you look even in Sri Lanka, the birds just flee, fly, you know, scatter from the trees. Some die in shock. You know, some, the dogs, I mean, during that time, we get so many calls for dogs. People who have lost their dogs, own dogs who are never found again. Street dogs who, you know, the street dogs have their home, even though they're on the street. They have a territory which is their home and they know where their food comes from. They know who, who looks after them. They have their, you know, space. And when the fireworks go off, they just run in, they're so terrified and they it's run so in angel. fear and they don't know where they are after that. Mm. They can't find their way back. And in the new area, they often get attacked by other dogs. They get beaten. They can't find food. And a lot of them don't survive. A lot of them struggle immensely. Um, and, um, you know, so this sort of thing go, goes on. And again, it's something we're just not conscious to and we just it's just fun for us you know sure. like all this noise for me the, the noise is not fun at all anymore but uh, and now once you know the the impact that you the, you know what you cause the, the the suffering that you cause I can live without noisy fireworks sure. you know and um, and also I don't know I, I mean I see people near my home as well like right right through the day they write they, they like this you know the 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 I don't know what they're the called. Chinapata. Yeah, which oh, are so horrible. noisy. <laughs> I don't know how they spend so much on on just you know buying something that just blows up in with a lot of noise, <laughs> and um, yeah, and the, I see it all the time. The birds off my you know going off the tree, and the dogs barking. I have one dog who's absolutely terrified, so she goes like under the under a table or under the bed around the. 23rd and it's like shiver 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 and not yeah. she doesn't eat for like a week or two as well 
absolutely terrified. Some are okay, but yeah. <laughs> What are a nice talking. I can talk to you for hours and hours on this very passionate subject, but our time constraints. So thank you very much for being my guest on the show, on the first ever show for the new year. My guest, the charming Otara Gunavardana. Good luck, good health. Thank you. I you wish you the same. You may wish your fans out there for the I new year. I wish you a very happy 2020 with lot and send you lots of love and happiness for the year ahead. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the pals of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.